Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharet, how are you doing? You're the angels of Hashem, do you hear me? This is the voice that is coming from Zion to wake up the hearts of the truth seekers. Now I wanted to share a certain thought with you, a thought that came to my mind from a holy source. That holy source is heavenly and divine and reminding me always where is our source and what is our root and where we're coming from. So Adam and Eve, they were holy souls, complete souls with no lackings at all in the nature of their creation. And before they sinned, they never covered themselves. They didn't felt like they were supposed to hide anything or to be shy or ashamed of themselves. But after they sinned, and there is much to talk about their sin and why it happened and in which way it took place, but eventually after they sinned, they decided to cover themselves because they felt the shame. So when a person falls to sins, to crimes, to feel bad about himself, so he starts covering himself. But when the person wants to fix it, he needs to go in the opposite way. The opposite way is that he will stop following that pattern of shame and regret and lack of self-esteem. A person must be very strong and powerful, feeling complete with himself when he is able to be who he believes that he should be while being able to express his real thoughts and his emotions and being strong about it, not to let the world depress and deny his identity and his qualities and the light of his soul. But all of that is only as long as the person finds the power to express his real heart and the light of his soul. But when the person is trapped in sins, in Averot, in crimes, so the shame is blocking him from uncovering his true potential and then he's falling and rolling into the swamps of despair, sadness and negativity and he cannot find an inner source of inspiration to change his way and to redeem him from the pain and sorrow of his crimes. And that's why we said that the way back is supposed to be on the opposite direction. First of all, to work on yourself, not to be negative, not to be judgmental, not about yourself and not about others. And then when you will feel that your battery been charged a little bit and you have a little bit more breath, more happiness, more power, to work on yourself and to improve, then it's the time to work on yourself and to try to change yourself, means to change the way you behave or act. But first of all, first step is to give yourself a chance, to give yourself the opportunity to climb and to rise and to grow and never to surrender to the fears and to the pressure of the outside world 
that is trying to prevent us from being who we are. We are holy and godly souls. We are amazing and beautiful souls. We are wonderful creations. And the fact that we fell to the darkness of the exile of this world doesn't make us bad or evil or wrong. We are on a mission. It's a challenge. It's not an easy mission. It was not an easy task to send us to the physical world. But the Creator chose our souls and sent us here because He believed in our power that we won't back off and that we won't surrender to the darkness of the physicality of this world. When the Creator sent His light to this world, He basically sent Himself forward a physical world to a place of forgetfulness, to a place that you forget who you are, you lose your identity. And He sent His own light, He sent us, His souls, His soldiers, His troopers, His messengers, to be the ones that will make the way back, that will achieve completion in their work, that will fix their ancient memory and will be connected to the ancient archive of the earliest days of Kedem. And when we will complete that memory to remember exactly who we are, what we made of, the redemption will take place in full power and beauty. I hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.